Secondly, let us explain about the valve body. In this chapter, let us deal with the characteristics and internal structure of valve body, which is core part of hydraulic control. Outside valve body has four pressure control valves and one switch valve. In case of five speed automatic transaxle, pressure control valve is additionally installed for the fail safe valve C and reduction brake of sub transaxle. Inside valve has manual valve, which sets oil path by the shift lever position. And it also has the damper clutch control valve, which operates pressure in damper clutch operation. It also has the regulator valve to control overall line pressure of automatic transaxle and torque converter valve to control the pressure inside the torque converter. And finally, fail-safe valve A and fail-safe valve B to prevent the interlock among operating elements. Manual valve of HIVEC automatic transaxle changes position by the shift lever position. Unlike other models, Manual valve positions are simplified to four instead of seven, even though it has the seven shift positions, namely P, R, N, D, 3, 2, L. Be careful about the steel ball and damping valve positions in valve body disassembly. Refer to workshop manual for assembly position. Let us briefly explain failsafe valve. Failsafe valve A is safety equipment to prevent simultaneous operation of two brakes and one clutch, namely low and reverse brake, second brake, and overdrive clutch. Failsafe valve A prevents it not electronically, but mechanically and hydraulically. Since those two above-mentioned brakes share the reaction plate, they cannot operate simultaneously in any case. If they operate simultaneously, it may cause automatic transaxle interlock and serious damage to the mechanical system, including the inside bearing of automatic transaxle. If the oil pressure is supplied simultaneously to second brake and low and reverse brake due to the internal damage or breakdown of oil pressure circuit, oil pressure of low and reverse brake is automatically released by the hydraulic circuit of fail-safe valve A connected to each chamber.
Failsafe valve B prevents simultaneous operation of two clutches and one brake, namely underdrive clutch, overdrive clutch, and second brake. If the oil pressure is supplied simultaneously to second brake, underdrive clutch and overdrive clutch due to the internal damage or breakdown of oil pressure circuit, oil pressure of second brake is automatically released by the hydraulic circuit of fail-safe valve B connected to each chamber. Fail-safe valve C is applied only to the five-speed automatic transaxle, which functions to supply the oil pressure to direct clutch from switch valve in usual cases. If direct clutch and reduction brake operate simultaneously, interlock happens, which should be prevented. Direct clutch functions to connect output of main transaxle to the sub-transaxle by one-to-one -one ratio. On the other hand, reduction brake functions to reduce the speed once again in sub-transaxle. If the oil pressure is supplied simultaneously to reduction brake and direct clutch due to the internal damage or breakdown of oil pressure circuit, the hydraulic circuit of fail-safe valve C connected to each chamber automatically releases oil pressure of direct clutch. Let's look at the oil pressure flow in fail-safe condition. If fail-safe condition is met, power supply to all solenoid valves is disconnected because of auto control relay turn off. Since all solenoid valves turn off, if the driver selects driving forward range, oil pressure is supplied to all clutches and brakes, except reverse clutch, where oil pressure is mechanically supplied. Though interlock may happen, oil pressure of low and reverse brake is released by the fail-safe valve A and oil pressure of second brake is released by the fail-safe valve B. As a result, oil pressure is supplied only to underdrive clutch and overdrive clutch. Since it becomes operating element of third speed, third speed driving is enabled mechanically. Diamond SP3 automatic transaxle fluid is applied to the Hyvec automatic transaxle. 